This is a piston question that has not come out in a very long time. So a piston in a car move up and down simple harmonic motion. Ooh, this is a oscillation question. Piston moves between a position of maximum height. So I guess this dotted line means the highest it can go to a position of minimum height. So this is the lowest it can go. Hmm. So it's kind of doing this little oscillation thanks to ideal gas pressure. Mm, well, I'm not going to go into that, but that's the beauty behind the uh, oscillating stuff in pistons. So the distance moved between the position is 9.8. They label for us already. Mass is 640. Okay. At one particular speed, the piston completes 2,700 oscillation. This is the number of oscillations in a certain time. One minute. Determine the amplitude. Okay, so need to remember a bit what oscillations are. From maximum to minimum position, uh, that is double the amplitude. La. So this is 2A. Why is it 2A? Well, you remember this? You go, if you have an equilibrium position and you're oscillating in time, you will have something like this. Zoom, 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 zoom. And you are saying top to bottom is 9.8 cm. So amplitude is half. So we can say here, where are we? Amplitude will be 9.8 cm divided by 2. Okay, so the answer will be 4.9 cm. So we are good keeping it at that. This is one mark. Now the frequency, how do we find the frequency? Frequency, if you ever forget how to calculate it, just remember that Hertz also has a unit of S negative 1. Nah, the unit is Hertz on top of my head here. Hertz. So you want to find the frequency. Usually we say 1 over T, right? But we don't know what the period is. However, we do know that uh, it has many oscillations in a certain time. So we can also do that. 2,700 oscillations in 1 minute. 1 minute is how many seconds? 60 seconds. Okay, so 60 seconds. Ah, so you see, per second already also we have the correct thing. Wrong. So if you divide this, you will get 45 Hertz as your frequency. You just write that down here. There's also one mark. Ayo, they kind of assume you already know all this from AS. So they don't give a lot of marks. Now we come to A2. The maximum speed of the piston. So if you remember the as simple harmonic motion SHM graphs, maximum speed occurs where? Where? <laughs> so V max is at x equals to 0. So 0 displacement, aka the equilibrium position. Lah. So this green dotted line is where the maximum velocity will occur. At the maximum here, it stopped moving. The bottom minimum is stopped moving. Because it's going to U-turn like go up, stop, go down. Go down, stop, go up. And it's keep doing that. Okay, so we need to find what is V. So do you remember any equations we can use to find V? I know there are equations that uh, will tell you what the maximum speed is, but in case you didn't memorize it or you forgot, then you can flip to the front of your exam booklet and you will see a formula there that will tell you the velocity of a particle uh, with relationship to these variables, the amplitude square minus the current displacement. So at maximum speed, you need to know that there's zero displacement. Lah. That's where it occurs, at equilibrium position. So equilibrium position. So then you can say that, oh, so then V max or V naught, sometimes the books write it that way, will be A square. What happened to the X? Gone already. Zero. Zero. Don't have. So this thing is zero. So this one you can just simplify to omega A. Sometimes you might see books write it as, uh, what, 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 uh, uh, what was it? Uh, oh, oh, yes. V naught equals to omega X naught. Sure, if that notation works for you, you can do that. But I prefer not to because I confuse that with I confuse x not with equilibrium position. So anyway, let's plug in all the values we know. Do we know omega? No, but we could find it by two pi f because omega is two pi f. Then oh, we know all the values here: amplitude and frequency. So let's plug everything in. This will give us two pi times forty five hertz. Amplitude is four point nine cm. Please remember the convert cm to meters. So this will be 4.9 times 10 to the negative 2 is in meters. In the end, you can get a value of about 14 meters per second. 
So that will be 40 now. So you can write here 14. Ah, so it means when it's crossing the equilibrium position, it's moving pretty fast, fastest 14 meters per second. Okay, where all the marks come from? First one comes from equation, as you as guess. Oh, this, ah, yeah, final answer, just give yourself a mark if you got it correct. The first mark comes from you knowing this and this. Do you know that omega is 2 pi f? And do you know that maximum velocity v max is omega times a? Okay, if you ever forget, just use this one. Lah. It's given in the, the data and formula sheet at the start of every question, uh, every booklet. Data formula. Remind yourself. Let's continue. What is the speed when the top of the piston is 2.3 cm below maximum height? Top of the piston. Why we use top of the piston? Oh. Notice how everything is calibrated with respect to the top of the piston. So we could treat it as, that is the point. Lah. I'm going to redraw it down here so I don't keep scrolling up there. So it's a simplified version. The green line is the equilibrium position where there is no displacement. So equilibrium position. Uh, they're asking first for the speed when the top piston is 2.3 cm below maximum height. So... I suppose you come from here to maybe somewhere here. And this is 2.3 cm. Wow. How to calculate? Ayah, don't panic. Stay calm. We want to find speed. Okay, now speed. Then we throw this one here again. So V equals to omega amplitude minus current displacement squared. Square the whole thing. How to find the speed? Uh? Let's see if we can do this. So this one will be... Do we know omega... Ah, you have to keep on calculating omega. Okay, la, okay, la, 45. So this will be 2 pi 45. Amplitude, we know, is 4.9. Oh, you 0. 4.9 must change to meter. I keep forgetting. 4.9 times 10, negative 2 square. But why is the displacement? Do not write 2.3. Wrong. 2.3 is not your displacement. You need to know that your displacement, currently, this red X here, is from equilibrium out to a certain distance. So this is your equilibrium. Sorry, this is your x that you want to plug in in your equation. So how far is that? Mm, you calculate low. So this one will be 4.9 minus 2.3 centimeter. Oh, yo, must centi some more. Okay, low, and then must square some more. Square low, like that. This is one way to write it. La. So this, uh, yeah, well, can write it out. La. Here will be 2.6 cm. But anyway, if you press everything in your calculator, you got correct, you should get 12 meter per second. So you're very happy you write here, say, yeah, I'm scared I'm wrong. Leh. How to double check? Ah? Well, you can think about this. Lah. If you are at equilibrium position here, you got 14. So here is 14, what do you call this green color? is 14 meter per second. Now you're a bit further away already. So you're at this point, 12 meter per second. It's slower, correct? Ah? Because eventually when you go to amplitude, here should be zero already. Not moving. It's going to change direction. So you check now. You check this one. 14. Is it decreasing? Okay, good. It's decreasing. Two marks. So first mark for equation. You don't have to use this or not. Second mark. This one. Final answer. Okay. Next, the acceleration of the piston varies. Yeah, it's simple harmonic motion. Determine the resultant force on the piston that gives rise to maximum acceleration. Three bucks. Ooh. So what are the what, what are the forces acting on this piston? If you think about it, you know there's gravitational force, weight, but then there's like the force from the gas that we don't really know. So we actually we don't have to worry too much about it because they ask you to find the resultant force. Okay lah. So we we don't know what contributes to the resultant force. We can't use that method. But hang on a second. Newton's second law. You know F equals to m a, right? We are trying to find F. Is there a way we can find the acceleration of simple harmonic motion? Yes, it varies. La. We know uh, A proportional to negative X. That is simple. That was that is what, how we define simple harmonic motion. But can we find an acceleration? Hmm, I think we can. If you go back to this diagram, and we look here, if you are at the green equilibrium position, there's no acceleration because there's... No, no, no displacement from there. So no acceleration, no displacement. So what we could use though is at the maximum position, either the maximum above or maximum below. Okay, so let's try that out. Use 
at maximum displacement to find the acceleration. There are two equations. The first one is acceleration maximum can be V maximum times omega. That's one way. Or another, may, another way is the amplitude times omega square. Because ne, we already say ma, V is what? V is omega A. Ne? So you plug it in. Omega A, you get this one. Omega square A. So up to you, la, which one you want to use. Make sure you know how to use this equation. If you forgot, this one exists. Maybe add it to your notes. So we know the maximum displacement already. Okay, so we can find our resultant force. That will be M times... Shall we use A? Ah? I, see, ah, if you use Vmax, you are trying to depend on this value. But what if this value you calculate wrong? Leh? Then gg.com so maybe i don't I'm, I'm worried i my v max is wrong so i think i will use the other one a omega square because amplitude i'm more sure of it so okay sure let's do that so what's the mass scroll all the way up 640g this is my mass i need to convert that to newton so this will be 0 0.64 kg let's plug that in so 0 0.64 kg amplitude what is that we got 4.9 from just now but convert to meters so 4.9 cm ah, convert to meters and then of course omega i should just calculate what we do have to keep on doing 2 pi f 2 pi f so 2 pi 45 square if you do this whole thing press calculator correctly you should get 2500 rounded off to 2sf 2500 newtons so something like that this is a three mark question, final answer, of course, one mark. And then you have uh, these two equations. If you get these two, that will be a C1 mark. And if you sub everything correctly, this line, you will get another mark. Okay, so I think the key here that is to know is how do you get this, all right? So go and review a little bit. How do you know maximum acceleration and things like that? And other than that, you should be fine plugging and calculating. Uh, method 2 is if you use, let's write it out, method 2, method 1. If if you use this A equals to V max omega, can also, you plug in, oh, what's your V max? 14? Okay, 14. Omega, then you do 2 pi F. 45 hertz, no square, oh, just like that. Oh. Okay, oh. so that's your other answer. If you use your net force equals to ma dot 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 dot. But I need to warn you of something. Uh, if you're using your previous calculated value, maybe you want to keep a few more decimal places. Like, I don't know, 13.9 instead of rounding it off so early. So I didn't do that here. Lah. But if you have 13.9 here, you bet it's good to write down also 13.9. And your final answer here, you run off to 2SF. So in case you want to use for further calculation, you can at least have a more accurate number lah. Okay, so that's just a quick pointer. Once again, I will prefer using this because I'm more certain of amplitude. No need to worry about rounding because 4.9 is 4.9. Okay, so that is all for this question. Hope that was helpful in thinking about pistons. I will see you in the next video.